Hi and welcome back. The topic of this video is data scaling. Often, raw data comes with features that have vastly different ranges. For example, attendance rates, reflecting the proportion of days an employee attends work out of the total available days, job satisfaction ratings, ranging from 0 to 10, salary, which can range from 0 to infinity, and let's say debt amounts, which can vary from negative infinity to positive infinity. See how different the scales are. Data scaling is the process of transforming our data so that different features are on a similar scale. If you decide to train a machine learning model that relies on distance calculations, like K nearest neighbors or support vector machines, the features having larger scales will dominate the calculations. The same applies to neural networks, but in a different way. Varying scales can seriously affect the training process. Thus, even for powerful neural networks, data scaling is essential. The two most popular scaling methods used a lot in machine learning are min-max scaling and standardization. Min-max scaling or normalization scales data into the range of negative one to positive one or zero to one. The resulting range is fixed and all values are proportionally scaled between maximum and minimum values, preserving their relative distances. Useful for cases that require a fixed range. For instance, RGB images consist of pixels that range from 0 to 255. By scaling it from 0 to 1, you maintain a consistent scale across all pixel values. However, it is very sensitive to outliers. Let's imagine this data. As we can see, because of one outlier, the whole data is concentrated into a small portion of the range, making it harder for models to distinguish between them effectively. Standardization, on the other hand, converts the data to have zero mean and one standard deviation. So, unlike min-max scaling, it centers the data and normalizes the spread. Standardized scale is not bounded, so you may have any value, but with most values concentrated in negative three to positive three range. While many sources are indicating that outliers do not affect standardization, it is not true. It is still sensitive to outliers. Let's see how. I have generated a normally distributed data that looks like this. And here is the standardized version of it. In each iteration, I am going to add an outlier and standardize it to see how the distribution changes compared to the original data. As we can see, the data is becoming skewed and eventually ends up concentrating into a small portion. The selection of these two data scaling methods is often not very critical, while in some scenarios one method is preferred over the other one. We will not go through it in this video, but if you don't want to miss such educational videos, follow us. If you want to learn more about artificial intelligence, subscribe to our channel to be aware of the new videos. Press the like button and let's discuss AI in the comments section.